Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you some ideas using the Love You Always treat boxes that are in the new mini catalog. They're on this page here, um, part of the Love You Always suite. This is what they look like. They're right here, Love You Always treat boxes. So when you get these boxes, they come flat, just like this. And I wanted to show you, first of all, how to put them together. So this is the piece that kind of wraps around the box. You just kind of fold that up and it's already adhered together. So that one you're just gonna set aside. This is the box that's going to slide in and out of this piece. So I wanna show you how to put this together. You're gonna start by folding all the pieces. Um, one tip is that the smooth side is going to be on the inside. That's the food grade side. So you wanna make sure that's on the inside and then kind of the more cardstocky side is the outside. So you could stamp on it. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly fold all my flaps here. There's quite a few of them but you'll understand why in just a minute. The cool thing about this box is there is no adhesive. You don't need any adhesive to put it together. It just holds itself together, which is really nice. Super simple. Okay. Last side. Okay, so you're gonna start with the two sides here and you're going to fold these flaps um, right here and here into these two sides. So starting on this side, I'm just gonna fold those two in and this one can kind of move out of the way. Those two go in and this one goes right over those two, okay? And just kind of sits right in there. And then do the same thing on this side and just hold it down like that. And then you're going to take this side. You can see there's a little notch cut out right here on this one, and that just folds down and holds these two sides down too, okay? And then you're gonna take this last side, and this is actually going to be the bottom of your box. It just folds right down in, and you can see that little notch there just latches right into the little space there. So simple. Okay. And then your little sleeve just goes right over the outside of it so that it can slide in and out just like that. And then it's kind of like a little matchbox, just like that. Really simple. Okay. I want to show you some of the ideas I've come up with using this box. It's been really fun and I really enjoyed it. I've come up with some really basic ideas with it and then a little bit of stepped up ideas. So you can have more than one option. So we're going to start with just the basic treat box. You had me at hello. And now this one's just normal. You're just going to push it out. And you can put a little treat in there. Really cute. Okay. This next one, there's a little surprise waiting for you. So you have kind of a little pull tab here, forever and always. And I've actually stamped on this one. You can see my flowers there. And then I'm gonna pull this tab and you can see I have a little surprise that pops up there. Some cute little flowers. So you can still put your treats in there, but there's also that fun little surprise in there. Okay. And then my last one, now this one's the most um, advanced, I'd say. <laughs> this one, when you open it, there's this little pull here. So when you open this one, you get a little slide out on the side over here. So it says, love you more. Okay, and then it slides back in when you close it. You'll see. So fun. So I want to start by showing you how I did the little pop-ups that come out of this forever and always box. This one's really simple, but it just adds kind of a fun little technique here. I just used window sheets and I cut them down into little strips. These are quarter inch strips down here. Here, let me take the thing off. 
um, so you can see that. And I just glue dotted these little flowers right onto them. Um, and then I glue dotted them down into the box itself. So then when I close the box and I just put the sleeve around it here, I just push those down so that they're down in there and then pull and they pop up just like that. So super easy and super simple, but just kind of a fun little um, extra that you can add to your box. On this box, I'm going to show you how I actually get this sentiment to slide out when I open the box. Okay, so this one was a little bit trickier um, and it is a little more advanced. Okay, so we're going to start with the inside box and I'm going to show you how I um, adhered the ribbon around this box to get our pull tab. Okay, so I used tear and tape. Before inserting this flap of the box down, you're going to adhere a piece of ribbon, and I used this um, Blushing Bride Metallic ribbon that comes in this suite of products. I used one piece of tear and tape right down in the bottom of it, and I, making sure I had enough room that I can use this as my pull tab, okay? And then I haven't cut it yet because I want to make sure I have plenty of ribbon for what I need. So then you can push this down, making sure that your ribbon stays even there. Okay. So it is just in the middle, coming out of the middle of my box, just like that. Okay. And then on the back or the bottom of this box, I've also, um, put another piece of tear and tape right in the middle of that. So I'm just going to tear that off and then I'm going to secure my ribbon and I want it to stay straight. And I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around and secure it on that tear and tape right in the middle of the box, okay? And then this, these two are going to make my pull tab. Now you can do those however you want. You can see I tied them together because I liked the way that looked. You could tie it with a piece of baker's twine so it kind of sticks out a little more. You could do it however you want. I liked the way this looked, so that's how I did it. Um, but that's what you're, you're just gonna then trim off your ribbon. And that's what you're going to do to that box, okay? Okay, so for the outside box, the bo the part that's kind of like the sleeve that goes around the outside, let me show you that. You're gonna need the X-Acto knife and some tear and tape, and you're gonna want your foam sheet. Now, for this, I cut my foam sheet down so that I could put it right inside my box for when I use the X-Acto knife, okay? On the bottom of the um, outside box, we're going to cut two slits in either side of it. So I just took and I um, I wanted my slit to be pretty big so that the when I have the ribbon in there, it's not gonna get caught or have any issue going through. Um, so I just measured about three quarters of an inch on either side and then just marked where I wanted it. It really doesn't have to be that exact. This part isn't going to be shown, but that's just how I um, did those measurements. So on this side, you can see I've already cut a slit and I'm just gonna do that quickly. On this other side, I've already measured it. So let me just cut that slit really quick. Just like that. And really, it doesn't have to be pretty. This will all be covered up. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so this is what the, um, the bottom of this sleeve box will look like. And then we're going to take a length of ribbon. I'm just using the same ribbon that I used on this box because it's what I had handy. And I'm going to just put it through the slits. Just like that. And then I'm going to adhere those together. 
So I'm going to just take a little bit of tear and tape. I like tear and tape because it adheres really well. Um, and once it's down, it is going to stay. I'm just going to put that right onto my ribbon. Okay. And I'm going to take my other side and just put it right down on top. I have a little bit of overhang, so I'm just going to kind of scoot that that way. Okay, just like that. Now, you want this ribbon to be able to slide back and forth. So don't do it so tight that you can't slide it. Okay? Okay, next we're going to take our piece of paper that we want our sentiment to be on. So you'll want to get your sentiment on there ahead of time and have that ready to go. For example, mine says, you more, <laughs> love you more. Okay, and it's all ready. And I'm going to, again, use tear and tape and I'm going to adhere that right onto this piece. And I'm only gonna adhere it on one side, okay? I like to do it right where this seam is on my ribbon so that that seam, I know it's not going to be going through my notches at all and get caught, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of tear and tape down right here, okay? Peel that back. And then I'm gonna put my sentiment right on there, okay? Just like that. So then when my ribbon is pulled from the inside, you can see it pops out like that, okay? Now we need to add the, our other box back in, okay? So just like we added, a, um, the tear and tape here to add the um, sentiment part on. I'm going to add on the opposite end, so not on, not on this end where the tear and tape for the sentiment is, but on this end, I'm gonna put another little piece of tear and tape, okay? Right onto that ribbon, you can see, right on the inside there. Hopefully you're able to see that. Just like that, okay? So this is the loose side of the paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna peel that off. And I'm gonna put my box into the sleeve now with my, my pull tabs on this end. So my pull tabs are on this end and my tear and tape is on this end, okay? And I'm gonna adhere and this is where you're hoping that your ribbons are both in the middle of your boxes, okay? Right down the center, because that's what's gonna grab that tear and tape, is the ribbon down the center of that box, okay? So you're just gonna push so that it holds. And now we hope that we've done it right. And that as you pull on your tabs, your sentiment will come in and out, just like that, okay? Now, the back kind of looks a little crazy here. So, to fix that, I just take a piece of paper. Um, this is cut to just under four and an eighth by two and three quarters. So, it's just the size of the box. And I'm just going to use glue dots, one in each corner of my cardstock here and cover, whoop, cover up basically the mechanics back here. Okay, just like that. Okay, so then when I pull, my sentiment comes out when my box comes out and then back in, just like that. And then decorate it up all cute and you'll have a fun gift with a cute surprise to give a friend. So, 
again, these boxes are one of my favorite things that's part of this suite of products for Valentine's Day. If you have any fun ideas that you want to share with us, make sure to post them in the comments below. If you want to place an order, make sure you visit us at stampinjail.com. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.